provide a platform on smartphones, tablets, and computers that hospitals use to educate, engage, and keep an eye on patients as they prepare for surgery and recover afterwards. Why did you think this would be a good idea? Well, the way uh, hospitals take care of patients right now, it's quite archaic. Um, surgery is a very complicated and scary journey, and they guide patients using paper, which patients lose, and lots of verbal instructions, which patients forget. And the problem with this is that um, it doesn't give any just-in-time information when a patient needs it, and it doesn't give any data back to the hospital so they can keep an eye on what's going on. And we make it possible to engage patients, collect data, and keep an eye on how you're doing. How difficult is it to get hospitals to adopt new software? Yeah, it's, it's challenging because you know, software to engage patients is not a real product category right now. It's kind of like electronic health records maybe 20 years ago. Um, now, electronic health records are a line name on the budget, um, but our software isn't yet, but we're confident it will be in three to five years, so we're helping to write the narrative to really make it a true product category. What hospitals have you tested this out with so far? Yeah, so it's used in a variety of hospitals in Canada and the U.S. Um, some locally here are Sunnybrook for hip and knee surgery and Toronto East General for lung cancer surgery. What has been the reaction from the patients who are using your software? Oh, it's fantastic. Um, they're telling us things like it's making them feel connected to their surgeon between visits. We've even had patients tell us they've caught deadly blood clots on the system and got it treated earlier. So it's stories like that that make us want to bring this everywhere. How do you monetize as far as payment for a service such as this? So we have an enterprise software as a service model, so we sell annual licenses to the hospitals and they give it free to patients. And where do you see things going in the next five years? Yeah, so we're focused on um, high-risk surgery, so hip and knee surgery, cardiac, um, cancer surgeries. Um, we started in Canada, now we have a footprint in the U.S. and we're planning to grow that footprint across North America in the next couple of years. When it comes to information about people's health, there is the concern of privacy. Mm. How do you ensure that a patient's information continues to stay private? Yeah, so we meet all of the guidelines um, for PHIPAA in Ontario and for HIPAA in the U.S. Um, thanks to the internet, they're quite um, clear and they're out there. And so we follow those guidelines. We partner with IBM for secure data centers in both Canada and the U.S. And so we're, we're compliant with everything. How do you think overall technology is going to impact the healthcare industry? Yeah, th there's two major forces going on the last um, 10 years in healthcare and tech. One is obviously the rapid emergence of the internet and mobile connectivity means that for the first time we can bring healthcare into people's homes. And combined with that, there's this really big shift happening in healthcare from paying for how much you give to a patient and now to paying for how well you take care of them. And those two forces combined are making technology the reason that we can actually get better healthcare at lower costs.